to our first yeah. Corvette Studio show. Uh, the Three Stooges here. This is Aaron Griffin, one of our fine salesmen, Corvette expert. This is Rick Clear. He's our videographer and our internet expert. You guys may know me from the videos. This is John. Uh, I'll call myself a Corvette expert. Um, we're going to try to put this together, have a little bit of fun, enjoy it. Um, you know, sort of like your Corvette clubs, right, Aaron? Yeah. What we're trying to do, guys, is just kind of reopen the narrative. Um, we're here at Biovet. We've been here 17 years. You guys know us. You've seen our YouTube videos. You see all the awesome videos John uh, and Rick do. But on Fridays, we kind of want to add a little something different, change the narrative a bit. It's Corvette season for all you sports car, uh, sports car weekend warriors out there. We kind of want to get your input, and we want to add these um, to what we're doing live. So on Fridays now, it's going to be Corvette Fridays. Um, we're going to do a live broadcast, and we're going to open up our forum to you guys. This is a huge, huge community. This is a very, very unique community, and we feel like we're almost missing the mark with not getting everybody else's input, what you guys are doing on the weekends, what car shows you guys have going on, and you know, GoPro videos. You guys are going up to the Dragon's Tail, and we're missing it all. So John has put together something really cool for us to do. Rick is our resident super guy when it comes to electronics, marketing, and everything, and we want to make Corvettes fun again. So, um, if you guys have questions, maintenance, service, things like Shows. that. Shows. Uh, tomorrow in Ackworth, Georgia, Classic Glasses having Super Vet Saturday. We're going to have some video up. Send some video, drone video, regular video photographs of your show. Let us see your cars, those special projects you got going on. Uh, Want to know more about a specialty car information. Uh, we do a lot of stuff in Europe. Uh, so, you know, those folks across the pond, send us your stuff. We would love to see your shows, your events, things going on uh, that we can throw out there to the community. And, you know, John, I just add as the guy who's always behind the camera and never in front of the camera and won't be very often on this show, but this is a Corvette community that we want to start. The Garen, you mentioned that. And one of the reasons we, we came up with this idea is we videotape sales videos for the Corvettes that you see online. Um, we get so many Corvettes through here that are becoming so rare. Yes. And some that we may never see again. Very true. You know, so we want to take not just the time to do a sales video on them, but time to maybe take a Friday like this and take the camera out live, show you the car, let you respond back to us on Facebook and, and tell us what you want to see about the car. You want to see something close up? We'll get inside and show you close up. So, uh, so we hope it will become a real community where you will expect to tune in, you'll enjoy tuning in, and you'll not just listen to us, you'll actually chime in and be a part of everything we do. Exactly right. I understand you have a video people might want to see of a beautiful car we had in here. Are you guys, guys, guys going to? Well, uh, yeah. I, want to ask, I, want to ask, I want to ask both of you guys, because I'll tell yeah. you, one of the neat things here at Biovet is that not only do they always have 130, 40 cars yeah. on the lot of yeah. all years, all the time, it's like a museum. It Come on out and see it sometime just to walk through, but also have one of the largest shops yeah. in the country. With How many bays are there over there right now? 15 bays, 10 15 mechanics. 15 bays and some of the finest Corvette technicians uh, in the country are there. Um, but um, now I'm losing my track. I want to I want to ask you guys on the thing, what's your favorite Corvette? Oh, God. Did he just ask me? What, is your, what is your favorite year Corvette? <laughs> what, what God, you and I was going to chime in earlier, one? guys. When we do the videos, I will be your speed liaison to the video. Um, that's my favorite part. So I'm a C6 ZR1 guy. I'm a little bit taller. So um, I like to be comfortable. Um, the C7, I love the telemetric. I love the electronics, the connectivity, uh, the drivability of the car. But just being a bigger guy, I like the C6. I like to go fast. So the ZR1 is my baby. Okay. John? I guess that makes me the old fat guy. I like the old <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I like the 66 coupes. Uh, you know, I'm one of those guys that the last Corvette made was the C2. Yeah. Just a beautiful machine. I think the lines were something in the day that was so far ahead of its time. Uh, there's a reason they brought back the Stingray name for the C7, okay. Okay. and uh, I just love that car. It's a lot of fun to drive. Not that there's a bad Corvette, but those are probably my, the one that I'd pick out if I had, had one to choose from. So. Okay. Well, my favorite one, and since I'm kind of in charge of video here, <laughs> we're going to take a look at it because, and maybe John, you can, t you're going to tell us in the video a little bit about it. But a while back, we had one of those rare cars. It was a 1958. Silver blue with the gray cove, and I'm telling you, this car was beautiful. Now, it wasn't all original, 
but it was one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen through here. And 58 was kind of a special year, though, wasn't it? It was. 58 was the first year of your two headlights in the front, and it was the most chrome ever available on a Corvette. So the washboard tub, or washboard hood, the, the chrome going down the back, it gave it a look that is still unique today. Second to none. Absolutely. Yeah. So it was kind of the biggest redesign of the first generation Corvette from 57 to 58. And uh, it's when they were really trying to make it into a very prominent race sports car, uh, which led us to the 63. So Duntoff and Harley Earl really were working towards that at that time. And it's a really iconic car. A lot like you see the 63 split window, the 58 of that generation is the car everybody wants. Okay, so John, am I holding this mic over here? Like I got one. one. <laughs> You've got one of your own. Anyway, this is our first broadcast. Um, we'll get better at it, and so, but we want your input as well. As you watch it on Facebook, either live or on replay, be sure to comment and tell us what you'd like to see, and you'll see it happen. So, John, if you want to tell us a little bit about, while well, I slip out of the screen and prepare mm -hmm. the video of the 58 Corvette, tell us what we're going to do when we come back from watching the 58 Corvette. Aaron and I are going to take some time to go through, not in a sales way, but more of a consumer way, a Resto mod that we have that we feel is a very special car. It's one that I don't think either one of us has seen one like. Uh, the build on it was very, very good and well done, and it's very modern uh, with an old school look. So we'll take a look at that as soon as you guys get a chance to look at this beautiful 58. Yeah, it's something, guys, and just like you heard our description of our favorite cars, it's the best of both worlds. So for any of you guys that are familiar and love the old classic lines, but you're like me and you like the speed and the uh, control of the vet and feeling the road is uh sky it'll be the perfect one for you enjoy the show amen welcome to buy a vet folks today we have the pleasure of seeing a very rare car this is a 1958 silver blue absolutely stunning color has the charcoal insets into the coves The 1958 had the most chrome of any of the Corvettes made. Obviously that beautiful front grille. First year of the dual headlights. The headlights are have the correct T3 markings on them. The beautiful white wall tires with the uh, correct hubcaps. This is a 327 non-original motor engine. The casting is available on our website at buyavet.net if you'd like to know that. And of course, the 58 had the washboard hood. All the paint in very good shape. Our interior and dashboard and carpeting looks to be recently done. The steering wheel is aftermarket. It's a little smaller than the original, a little thicker. a little bit better grip but all very correct with the wonder bar radio and the four speed and with the beautiful chrome coming down the trunk of the car the top being white looks to be newer the original steering wheel of 
course the trunk area with the spare tire that is in the car. Fifty eights don't come along very often. If this has been your dream car, give me a call. Let's arrange for some time to get together and explore the car together. 770-605-2056 or email john at buyavet.net. We'll see you all out on the road. Welcome back, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video on the 58. Now we're going to look at some real fun. So 63 was uh, the Stingray, the, the Stingray. Aaron, I don't know if you know this, but Harley Earl went on a fishing trip, caught himself a Stingray. We have a Stingray. Amen. I he went that. on a fishing trip. He caught a shark. Well, we've got sharks here too. <laughs> There's a theme there, right? This 63 right. is really, really cool. It is not an original Corvette color. Right. Um, this gray paint is an absolutely beautiful shape. Paint is one of those things that gets very expensive very fast, especially on a fiberglass car. So we'll start there. But this thing really is more amazing as you take a look at it. Um, the interior of the car, these seats are from a C7. That beautiful leather. You'll notice there's a push button start in there. Just like a C7. We've even got a flat bottom steering wheel. <laughs> steering wheel. Um, like I said, cool things about this car, um, for the people who really, really, really love the classic lines and the classic look of this car, the only thing about this car really that's basically original is the body. So mm -hmm. you can get that wonderful look, those beautiful lines. It's like a work of art going down the street, but you got a modern frame, reinforced rear end, um, and the beautiful thing, which I love about this car, is that it's sitting on a, uh, an LS3 engine. Now, LS came out of the 6th Gen Corvette, correct? Yep, absolutely. So there's your modern power, running 450 horsepower now, like a regular C6, plus about 10 or 20 horsepower. Um, just very, very cool and very well put together. What we wanted you to see more importantly was just the lines and how meticulously well they have put together um, this 63 Resto Mod. I noticed we have AC. That's a vintage AC system. That's a really good thing to have in these cars, especially especially down here in the south. This is a street, street racing chassis underneath. It is. So Custom with chassis. this kind of power, mm -hmm. you've got the go and the whoa with the brakes being from a C7, yep. suspension being from a C7. Yep. Um, this car is on a uh, battery tender. So, um, gosh, all the modern conveniences I can think of. Looks like we got Wildwood brakes. And for me, guys, this is one that I had the pleasure of driving over. We have a service department, we have a sales department, and we move cars back and forth periodically. But just the driving experience of this car, um, John has a lot more experience with Corvettes than I do. So. Um, I'm a uh, learn-as-you-go kind of guy, but just the experience of driving a resto mod, something that's solid on the ground, um, modern suspension, modern brakes, modern engine, there is nothing like this feeling. And this is exactly what we're trying to do, kind of give you the feeling, kind of let you see what we have here and um, how well Don John does his job. Yeah. Aaron, <laughs> I'm going to ask you something silly. Do you mind getting in this thing while we're on camera? I want to show them what a six-foot-four guy, it's not hard to fit in. Yeah. Especially with the modern power seats, but as you can see, I won't tell you it's not the the easiest thing in the world. But Aaron's comfortable, can shift. His head's not touching the top of the headliner here, so very comfortable. Be able to drive on a, a fun weekend or take the lady out for a, a nice meal. Um, the nice thing about Resto Mods is, since you're buying them from Biovet, <laughs> we're the second. The build on these cars can get very, very expensive to pay somebody to put this, take the body off from this, put the AC under it, put the new engine in. And, you know, as we, as you saw in the video, the, the components it takes to turn an old car into a new car drive is a lot of money. Uh, but the rust mod market is a great one. If you have an old Corvette that you'd like to rust them, 
It's a great idea. An LS engine in it is a great idea. Um, and it makes it really roadworthy. You don't have to go to this length. Um, I've got a, what, what, Aaron, we got a 71 in here. It's got an LT1 engine out of a C4 Corvette. Let and uh, it's, a, it's a hell of a car too. And that car is only 45, not 220. Um, so there's varying different ways. And I know we can get we can get old school too, you know, go back to an original car. Aaron's right. You want to drive it, you want to enjoy it on the highway, all that fun stuff. Rust mod may be the way to go. Um, original ways, as you can see, we'll just come and just quick, but original style wise, the cars look very similar. So being able to um, show off at your local show. And even in the interior, you can see, well, that C7 interior size general uh -oh. is all the same. Oh, <laughs> we unplugged it. It's all right. <laughs> it probably needed to be unplugged. We were pro probably finished talking anyway. You're back. You're back all right. See, first show, we unplugged the video feed. See how we are? <laughs> Just having a little fun with some cars. Guys, send us your information. Send us your videos of your cars, of your show. Let's promote your shows. Um, become part of this community. Have some fun with it. We'll look forward to seeing you on the road and at your favorite show.